I'm Harold W. Johnson. Uh, I'm an oil painter. I paint because of inspiration. Uh, inspiration is kind of an abstract term. It's hard to measure, it's hard to really judge. Uh, but you can tell when it's in a painting. You can tell when the, when the painter uh, had a moment that was special and uh, beautiful and awesome. So inspiration comes from outside. People sometimes ask, well, why, uh, why do you paint? Uh, well, aside from the fact that it's a genetic imperative, if I tell them I, I paint uh, because of inspiration. Without uh, inspiration, a painting is just wallpaper. <laughs> has no special meaning to it, or just, uh, it's just decoration, kind of meaningless. But with it, inspiration, that's everything in a painting. I mean, it's the very life of, of the work itself. To me, there's three basic fundamental things that are really important uh, in, in good painting. First off is a good drawing. Second would be a good, strong composition. And the third, I believe, is inspiration. Uh, without inspiration, that's just mindless doodling. You know what I mean? I have friends who uh, tell me, I just don't know what to paint anymore. I've run out of ideas and whatnot. Oh, well, alrighty then. But the first thing I tell them is to get out of the studio. There's nothing inspirational in the studio. Uh, and where does inspiration come from? It comes from out, outside, uh, the things that you experience. It comes from your life. And that's what you should paint. Uh, I know people who say, well, I get my inspiration from looking at other people's paintings. You may be it may make you want to paint and paint better, but inspiration shouldn't come from other people's work, really. Uh, that's just just not right. Uh, well, you say it's all right if I take their idea and just change a few things in it. But no, it's not all right. Uh, your painting should be something that's unique to use from your own experience. Uh, you don't just steal somebody else's idea, that's just wrong. And uh, you don't paint your version of their painting. Well, it might be all right if you're a student and you're just learning, but to represent it as your own work, that's, that's just wrong. There's so many beautiful things to, to paint it, uh, when, you, when you get out and you look all around. And a lot of times you'll be painting something and you, and you can turn around and uh, just 180 degree, there's another painting. It just seems like it works that way. So what I tell people is just get out, find beauty. Let's talk a little bit about inspiration. What is inspiration and uh, where, where does it come from? It's something that uh, motivates you comes from deep within us and it's a response to maybe something beautiful in nature the way the light uh, hits a subject uh, a lot of times it's it's just a perfect moment uh, there it may be an ordinary subject and it doesn't have to be a spectacular thing like the Grand Canyon or anything it's just a moment when, when things are or just everything is just right. It's a magical time. And it's a time that uh, you want to capture and, and keep. It's kind of like uh, when uh, young people are in love and the excitotoxins are running rampant through their brains and they're feeling all this great emotion and uh, the girl will turn to you and say, I wish this moment would never end. And that's kind of like what you want to capture in your painting. 
painting, something that you'll never get tired of looking at, something you want to put on your own wall, something that uh, you can uh, look at and, and when you're relaxing in the evening, just kind of unwind, and something you can keep forever. It's, it's like a treasure that you, you can bring home. Um, and when you're painting, you're, you may not be outdoors, you may not be capturing just a moment, but you're capturing that whole time that you're out there. It might be, you know, two, maybe three hours that you're actually working on the painting, but you, uh, you've captured that whole time, the essence of that time. And a painting should actually tell about your life. It should tell about uh, the things that you love, the things that you're involved in with the relationships you have, uh, the things that you experience, the places you go. Uh, it's, it's a very personal thing. Uh, it, you should never sing someone else's song. It should be your own life. It should be things that are unique to you and, and then people can look at your painting and say, well, that's, that's really you. That's, very obvious, uh, you know, people tell me, wow, you, you must be from Seattle. Well, they can tell just by looking at my, my work. And your work should reflect uh, what you are about. It shouldn't be uh, a recreation of someone else's life or someone else's experiences. A painting should tell a, a story. And it should be your story. How do you know what to paint? Well. You just know. It's, it's like uh, you see something that's just, it just speaks to you, grabs you from inside, and uh, you know that would make a good painting. Every picture has a story, and uh, that's, that story either grabs you or it doesn't. And if it grabs you and you paint it well, chances are it'll mean something to somebody. They're working on the boats behind me here at Cathlamet, Washington. Columbia. Talk a little bit here about the uh, painting on the Columbia River, which I did of the town of Cathlamet. Uh, this is a very recent painting, but it's one that I really enjoyed doing. I've been going there for years and uh, doing paintings and whatnot, and I find it a very attractive area. It's an uh, area that's, uh, places like this are just disappearing. You, you're not going to find them much anymore. Uh, people just tear down these old places. It's kind of a ghost town. It's, uh, the buildings are, a lot of them are abandoned, kind of falling down, leaning. But it's a, I find a lot of beauty in places like this. I don't always like things that are shiny and, and new or perfect. I, I like things that are just real and uh, natural. And I, I like old things. I, I like old people. I like, uh, I mean, don't you just love old people, you know? What were we talking about? <laughs> uh, the... Uh, the, the beauty of places like this is always what, what just motivates me to want to paint. And, uh, you know, here he's hauled up all of these old boats up to this place, and it, like he's going to uh, fix them up or paint them up someday, but they, they just kind of are going back to nature. And, uh, The house, it looks like he started to fix up, but it's, it's been that way for years, and uh, it may never get done. But uh, the, the old pilings uh, are just such a natural lead-in for the painting. Um, they, uh, you know, they have these grasses growing out, and, and then uh, it looks like nature's planters. Uh, it looks like, uh, just like, a, bad hair day or something. <laughs> yeah. 
but these are the things that uh, really create a lot of interest and uh, you you know you don't find them at the mall you don't find things like this uh, you know a man tends to uh, want everything orderly and, and he's striving for some kind of uh, artificial and, uh, imperfection or perfection excuse me <laughs> but uh, I I hope you like the painting. I mean, I really enjoy doing it, and uh, it's, uh, it's always great to find new places to paint. It's great to get out into nature, uh, just to find travel. What a wonderful thing to do, you know, and just find beauty wherever you go. Uh, that's about it. Thank you. By the way, I do have a website. It's haroldwjohnson.com, H-A-R-O-L-D-W-J-O-H-N-S-O-N.com. And I do have uh, canvas gicle available of uh, most of my art, as well as the uh, painting uh, Kath Lamott on the Columbia. So check it out. Thank you.